friends this is sarmat from the developers.pk and in today's chapter we are going to learn that how you can set up a wordpress in a new domain in our previous chapter we have learned that how you can install a wordpress in a new domain and now we are going to set it up so for that uh, you have to log into the website as i have shown you in my previous chapter and the layout of the website will look like this one so if you check out the web address from here visit the website so it will looks like this this is the very static template and you have to design it for the further assistance so for that we need to set up a little bit the first we need to go to the settings and then go to the general and write down your website name here your website slogan and skip out these options and the time layout which you will like the most the time format the date format and the month starts from uh, sorry week starts from and the other options as per your own desire after that go to the uh, discussion option and turn off all the comments because the, they are mostly spammed and your website will get the down in average when some of the fake people do some spam comments if you want to enable the comments in your website so you need to use a specific plugin that are being installed from here in the plugin section and right after that the permalink which is the most important uh, link because it is the behavior of your link that how your link will looks like in google so we will mostly use a date and name format or a post name format so we are going to use here a post name format and then save out the settings so here we are now done and our website is totally set up now the second thing is that you need to upload a website template so we are going to upload a sahifa wordpress template that is here and this template is totally seo optimized and you can use it by your own and this template is the best template i like the most and you can see here the layout of their timeline the host behaviors the categories are being well displayed and this is the most amazing template for blog and news websites so we are going to download it from here and you have to buy it in the dollar 59 you can also get the free uh, from the different websites you can also download this template free from the link in the video description so after the download go back to your wordpress and get into the appearance and then themes into the theme section you need to upload the template so you have to go to the upload section and from the upload theme select the theme that is here in the form of zip file so i have already uploaded that one and which is here and then after that just active the theme after the installation and activation of the template you need to set up some of the plugins from here so we are going to begin installing plugin so all the plugins are being installed now except the woocommerce so active out the plugins after the activation you will see that the website will in a proper manner like this one so our website is fully updated now with a demo content so how you will get a demo content all you need to do is go to the sahifa and import demo data from here just press the import demo data and wait until it's done after that you will see couple of pages which are being imported here and now there are some different sort of pages like the advertisement page so we don't need uh, our advertisement page here because our template doesn't need these sort of pages so all you need to do is just press on that quick edit 
and from here make it as draft and then update and or press here edit and make the page visibility to private this will not index your this page to google or will not display this page on google search bar because some of the pages are being used later on and we don't need such type of pages like this one that is audio and video which contain all the plugins of the hosted and non-hosted songs and audio files which are being used in your website so you don't need this type of pages now so let's repeat out the process go to the edit section from the visibility here mark it as private and then update the page when we use the sitemap so it will not index these sort of pages in google which are in private now if you want to make your own home page so how you can do so from here there is a home page of different types to select a home page of your own desire go to the settings in the reading option and from here static page there is tile app home page so you can select a different one so we are going to select a timeline page as our home page and for the blog post select the blog page if any page name is blog or we will make it a blog page by our own then save out the settings and now check your website it will change the behavior of your website into a timeline page like this one if you want to change in to some other sort of page like uh, classic layout just save out the settings change the page and save out and then refresh the page it will change into a classic settings like this one so it will depend that how you can make your website display and which display you like the most so that you can change it into that behavior you can also update these social links from here into the theme section from the shifa the theme settings and scroll down to the social networking and you will see here you just replace the links with your own links and your all the social media icons will be updated there are more options like translation you can also include a translation in your page that if you are using some Urdu website and from the typography select the font size font style for the specific text used in specific areas and from the styling you can also change the theme color theme darkness modern scrollers the background of the theme with some installed patterns and the other settings from the ad settings you will update your advertisements ad which are being displaying here like this one so you can replace it with your own text images ad or link ads whatever you want or you can also use a google adsense responsive ads from here from the publisher id ad id and other settings so this is the whole process of installing a sahifa theme in your new website and you can also change the a credit option the footer layouts and other features you can check out all these functions which are playing different role in the whole website template after all the things which are being updated from here now it's time to remove all the demo posts before submitting the seo or sitemap so select out all the posts press on move to the trash and then apply to delete all these demo posts from here and then upload the, all the posts by your own and make the categories let's see how home page is being working here so home page of the website is uh, the tile app home page so just check out the tile app home page and it may be on us next page so here is our home page that is timeline home page go to the edit and from here you are you will see this there is a couple of options that is recent posts here if you want to show the post in category blog just drag it down or press it 
and it will show a category block from here select a category of your desire which you want to show the post of the belongings category and then the latest post or the random post the post number and some other thumbnail options and your small thumbnails whatever you want so you can use these type of options from here very easily just press the option and then use it whatever you want in your website homepage so in this way you can design your homepage in just easy manner and you don't need any sort of coding or don't need any sort of web developer to design your website using Thai Labs Sahifa template. Hope so you will like my tutorial. Do follow me for more interesting tech guides. Thanks.